basic wallet, wallet and security. So basically what we're looking at is, you know, we're going to be looking at the wallet, which is being used generally in Bank Lester, which is Metamax. And also we're going to be looking at some security tips to keep your wallet safe from hackers and from, you know, compromised sites that we would normally come across. So because of time, we are not going to be looking at how to download the app, how to download the app, how to do the setup. Um, all of those things are on the cheat sheets, which is um, in the watercolor voice channel chat, um, chat. So you can just go and look it up. So what we're going to be going straight into how to buy tokens, how do we send tokens, and also how do we sell swap tokens on Metamask. So to buy tokens, now there are four different payment gateways that are available for you to use and buy Metamask tokens. And the first one is the Coinbase Pay, the second is Moon Pay, the third is Transec, and the fourth one is Wire. Now out of these four, there are two major ones that are mostly used generally by individuals, which is Transec and Wire. And those are the two we'll be looking at in-depthly, okay? So now for the wire, when you're looking forward to purchasing, you know, Papa's, you know, Apple Pay or using your credit or debit card, and then the wire platform is the best option for you. And then there are few steps which we'll be looking at now. So the first one is for you to click on the buy button. When you click on the buy button, continue with wire, which is right here, tap on that. Um, continue with wire now. When you tap on that, it's going to bring a page. Now, on this page, you see a place, you know, where you can fix, fix in the amount of, you know, coin you want to buy, whether it's Ethereum or whatever. You can also hear there is a place to change the currency you want to use. Maybe you're not using um, your, um, the US dollar, maybe you're using Japanese yen or whatever other currency you're using or euros there's this spot here is to change you know which currency you want to use and then there is also a, a platform for you to impute your you know debit card or your credit card whatever you're using and then after you're done with all those things you just click next so when you click next you would have you know another um page come up and then you'll be required to enter the details of your your card info so like your first name your last name your card number the expiration date the C cvv you know and also you're going to your country your state your address your postal zip code um your city your email and also your phone number and after you're done with all of this you just click on submit which is right down here below and then after that you um your bank will send you a one-time password, which is also known as the OTP, for you to verify the transaction. And once that is done, the payment will go through, and then you should see the coin that you have purchased on your Metamax, you know, dashboard. Just go back to your dashboard, and you'll be able to see it. So that's how to use wi using using your credit card or your debit card. So the next um, platform you can use is this Transec. If you want to buy Ethereum using Transec, just the normal procedure, you go to buy, and then you'd see the option for transfer. Just tap on continue with transfer. And then when you do that, you also see a, a, um, a platform will appear where you'll be asked how much you want to pay. There's also a space for the currency. So if you don't, if you don't want, if you're not using US, if you're not using the, the US dollar, any whatever currency you're using, you can just change it here. Okay. They will ask you also for the payment method. You have to fill in all of those things. And then below here is the amount you would, you know, you would be receiving according to the currency you are using. And then there is a place you just tap on buy now. Okay, now when you do that, it's going to ask you to impute your, there's going to be another um, section where you're going to be asked to impute your wallet address. Now, now you, you would have to make sure you confirm this properly. You get this wallet address from your MetaMask dashboard. It's just right there. Okay, that is done. Make sure to cross check twice. And then you just tap on buy it below here. 
<clears throat> and then after that, you'll be provided, you know, a space to impute your your email address. Now, when you enter this email address, MetaMax will send you a verification code to, to that your inbox. Now, the email will trigger as soon as, you know, you tap on the continue button, which is down below here. Okay, and then the next, right? And then in the next um, window, in the next page, you will be asked for your KYC to complete your KYC. Now, this is actually a lengthy process. It's, it consists of five steps. And during the KYC process, you have to enter some of your personal information, such as your ID proof, your address proof, so much you know about your personal information because they're actually very safe. Metamax does not have access to these personal information, all right? So once you're done completing your KYC, an OTP verification will be triggered by the payment gateway. The, you should see the amount of Ethereum or any coin that you bought or your Metamax dashboard. All right, so now that is that for how to buy tokens. So the next thing we're going to is how to send tokens, okay, from your MetaMask wallet to any other wallet, maybe your maybe to um, Trust Wallet or whatever other wallet you're using. Okay, so when you want to send, this is how, and then you can see the send button with an arrow that's pointing, you know, upwards in a sideways pattern. So just tap on that send. When you tap on that, you would be provided with the with a um, a box where you need to impute the address which you want to send the token to. So yeah, what you have input in there is the address you intend to send the token to, or you can impute the ENS name, whichever one you prefer. So after that, just click on next. And then after you have imputed your that address up here, you would be asked to choose the cryptocurrency you want to you want to send either Ethereum or BNB or BTC, whatever it is. You also be asked for the amount, so you type in the amount, and then you click on next. Okay. Once you do that, you would see the amount. The next thing you you know, what the amount of um, whatever cryptocurrency you want to send. And this gas fee is normally in Ethereum because what we are using is the Ethereum mainnet. If you are doing it on on, on a polygon, on polygon minutes, what you'll be requiring, the gas fee that will be required of you for whatever cryptocurrency you want to say, whether it's BTC or BNB, so are you using the Ethereum minutes, the gas fee is in Ethereum, okay? So after that, if you have enough um, gas fees, you know, in Ethereum, the transaction would, should go. Once you have, you have confirmed that, just tap on confirm, and then the token, the, the coin will be sent to whosoever you want to send it again to, okay? So then we are also gonna look at how to swap tokens in, in Metamax, All right? So as usual, you come to the dashboard and then you see the swap button there, tap on the swap button, you know, they'll ask you to swap from what select the cryptocurrency you want to swap from and then select the btc or from ethereum to bnb so when you select that select the amount of ethereum you want to swap and then the equivalent amount you know will appear in bnb or will appear in btc okay then just tap on review swap which is below which is directly below okay now when you do that you would see the amount of gas fee that's needed to complete that swap. As I said earlier on, because we're using the Ethereum mainnet, these gas fees will be in Ethereum. If we're using a Polygon mainnet, the gas fee will be in Matic, okay? Which is the, you know, traditional token for the, for the platform. So 
if you have enough gas fee, you would see, you know, you'll be able to tap on, you know, swap. And then the tokens you want to swap to the other should be swapped. If you don't have enough gas fee, you will not be able to carry out this transaction. Okay. So now there are a list of networks you can add to your MetaMax wallet. I've already talked about the Ethereum Minute, we talked about Polygon. So there are others. We have Harmony, we have Avalanche, we have Binance Smart Chain. We also have Optimism now, we just came out of Optimism. And you know, there are a lot more of them. But for this, you just listen these three. And then, you know, so when you want to add a network, a network to your MetaMax, you just, you know, go when you go to the dashboard. Just for if you're using your Android, this is what the setup will look like. This is what you see initially here. You go to settings, go to add network, and then the network you want to add will be will be there. So just upon network and it will add. Um, at this point in time, initially at using the old app, you need to input network, the network name, and all of those things. But now any network you want to add is already displayed. Here, just like you have Ethereum minutes here and you have other test nets on Ethereum, you also have Polygon, you have Optimism, you have BNB Smart Chain and all of those things. So just have a network you want to add and then it adds, it's that simple. Okay, so but if you're using a PC, you'd have to come up, can you, you can see this button here where you're seeing Ethereum minutes, tap on it and then go down and tap on add network. When you go and tap on add network, it brings out the you know, available networks and then you just tap on the one you want and that's it. Tap on the one you want. You can see Binance Smart Chain here, you can see Polygon. Tap on whichever one you want and then it will appear. You'll see some questions, you know, but later on to just appear and then you can begin to use it, okay? All right, so how do we add custom tokens to our, um, to Metamax? Now, one of the ways we can add custom tokens is whatever token you're looking for, you can just shut it up on, um, on CoinGecko or we have links on this. You can check etherscan.io for tokens or polygonscan.com.cm for the tokens. Okay, when you get the token address, when you get the token address, you just come and put it here, you can see this picture, you put it on the, um, you would see the, there's a space well for contract as when you put it there, just tap on the part for token symbol. The token symbol and the decimal number of that token will appear, you just tap on add token and then that's how you add, you know, custom tokens, all right, to your Metamax. So the next thing we're gonna be looking at is some little security tips on how to protect your wallet, okay? So first of all, um, sometimes you'll be asked to connect your wallet to a lot of things that are happening on, a lot of things that are going on, you know, um, on the, in the Web3 space or in the crypto world in general. So always try to, you know, disconnect these apps once you're done doing whatever you want to do, okay? and disconnecting there's a place for revoking you know the app permissions like um uniswap like um balancer you can revoke so that they don't have the ability to you know infiltrate your wallet and then start making use of your tokens or have direct access to your tokens so if you want to disconnect on your mobile mobile device, your your app Tamax, tap on the, on you see some three columns by, by the left. And then when you tap on that, go to settings. And when you go to settings, you tap on security and privacy. And then when you do that, you see clear privacy data. And when you type on this privacy data, every link, every um, D app or every any site that has connection to your wallet is deprived of that access and then is revoked immediately. But for your PC, there's a place to disconnect and then there's also a place to revoke, you know, access that the apps have to your wallet, right? So 
um, to disconnect from on your PC, you just go to your dashboard um, by the at the right top at the top right. See a three three dotted lines. You see three dotted lines. Okay. Hey GM. Tap on those two dotted lines, and then you go down to the last place. You see connected sites. I just tap on the tap on the um, connected sites, and then it Anyone will. There? You know, act to bring out a list of connected sites. So wherever. GM, whatever site you want to disconnect to, you just tap on it, tap on this, um, those being signed, and then to ask you if you want to disconnect from that site. And if you're sure you want to disconnect, and then, you know, you disconnect it, you use what you see. So if that site is connected to more than one account, if you have more than one MetaMask account, it will ask you if you want to disconnect it from all those accounts, you have this option. You can disconnect from all accounts or just disconnect from that particular wallet, which you are which you, are, you know, which you want to you know keep safe, all right. So lastly, we're going to be looking at how to revoke the apps access, you know, to contents on your wallet. So now to be able to revoke the apps approval, you need to you know be keeping track of existing approvals. You know, you need to keep track of the apps which are giving approvals to your wallet or to the tokens on your wallet. Now there are several ways to keep tracks of existing approvals, right? So one of the you can, one of the ways is that you can head to approval checker section on Block Espera network, any Block Espera network you're using, for example, Etherscan, and the, the link is here to the Etherscan also. So poly, on Polygon Scan, you also have the link here. Okay, there are different, there are three different platforms you can use to check, you know, the apps that have access to your tokens. The first one is Revoke, which is mainly for Ethereum minutes. Then we have on Ricket, which is for multiple networks, either for Ethereum or Polygon or whatever net, other network you have. And then we have Coin2. So these three platforms are the platforms you use to check. And once you check and see, you know, the the, the apps that have access to, the, to your tokens or your your the contents on your on your wallet, try as much as possible to revoke those accesses so that you know those um, those apps don't have access to your to your tokens. I always tell people when I'm done doing whatever I want to do, I trust myself possible to disconnect you know my wallet from any app, whatever I did or, or something of that nature. And I trust myself possible to keep on checking you know the D apps either Uniswap or other balancer, any this is not music. I trust myself possible to keep on checking what Token, you know, they have access to on my wallet just to be safe. Right. 